So the first phase of Gigafactory Berlin is already under construction and the pace of the construction process has been quite rapid so far. It appears that Tesla revolutionized not only the automotive business but also the construction business, building its factories at a very fast pace. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. If you are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing and now let's get back to the news. So Gigafactory Berlin's construction is currently accelerating with pillars now being built on the site. As of recently, new reinforced concrete beams have been placed on the location and the first walls have been set up. As it can be seen from the footage, the paint shop building has already begun to take shape as walls gradually appear on site. Last week, a concrete mixing plant was built at the site, which will save a lot of time and money on the transportation of cement. Additionally, the construction of a second concrete mixing plant already began. Thus, the Giga Berlin construction process is soon expected to gain an even faster pace, especially as additional cranes arrive at the site. Now Tesla Giga Berlin plans to reach a production goal of 100,000 vehicles a year when it starts operation in July 2021. The facility is expected to manufacture the Model Y for the European market. The EV automaker's ultimate goal is to produce 500,000 vehicles a year at Giga Berlin which should meet demand for Europe in the coming years. Now news have recently come out that Tesla intends to hire 10,500 employees for its brand new Gigafactory Berlin. The facility will be operating at 3 shifts per day with each shift being covered by 3,000 to 3,500 workers. Recently, the construction plan for Giga Berlin has undergone some changes. This was a consequence of the fact that the territory on which the plant will be located has its own characteristics that require special attention. Over the past period, Tesla proved that it's extremely flexible, not only in their own interests, but also in the interests of the entire Brandenburg region as well. Now Tesla just filed an amended project application which indicated that Giga Berlin would not make battery packs for the vehicles produced in Gronheid. The application also contained a new design for the Model Y factory. The Model Y factory shrunk from 24 meters to 15 meters. However, the press shop and paint shop remained the same size. Quite interestingly, Tesla's final environmental permit is still officially pending, but the company has already begun work on building the massive facility. While sentiments regarding Gigafactory Berlin are largely positive, the facility has also attracted its own fair shares of critics. So far, citizens in the area have had the option to submit objections to the project until September 3, 2020. There are currently 373 objections that have been filed against Gigafactory Berlin, 
and an action group called Against Gigafactory Grunheit has also been formed. The group's spokesperson expressed his criticism saying that the whole project has the wrong location and the factory causes environmental problems. In response to environmental concerns, Tesla has pledged to plant three times as many trees as it would cut down for Gigafactory Berlin. Now Elon Musk has just released the first official render for what appears to be the first phase of Gigafactory Berlin when it's completed. The render shows a new futuristic design that is somewhat different from Tesla's previously released designs for Gigafactory Shanghai and Nevada which were pretty similar to each other. As it can be seen from the render, Gigafactory Berlin will have a lot of solar panels on the roof to power the plant. There is also what appears to be a swimming pool as well as an indoor-outdoor entertainment space on top of the building. So Tesla Giga Berlin construction site keeps making impressive progress. The Tesla team in Germany quickly organized the entire construction process and now we can see tremendous success at the construction site. Six months ago, the site for the future factory was a pine plantation and today we can already see some outlines of the building.